Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shaheen Manjezi. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, and I talk about manifestation, maintaining your state of being so that uh, you have a positive attitude in life and you manifest your deepest desires, everything that you want. So, um, in this video, I want to talk to you guys about um, something that's like super, super integral uh, for manifesting and living a lifestyle that's in alignment with conscious manifestation. And that has to do with choosing how you interpret events, uh, choosing how you label experiences, and also choosing your sort of worldview, how you view the world and, and how you label events. And um, this is, you know, extremely relevant to, you know, everything that's been going on recently in the world, um, especially with like the pandemic and, and, and things like that, you know, what I found is, um, you know, there was sort of two groups of, of people um, when it came to the pandemic. And there was one group that said, this is like the worst thing that's ever happened to us in our lifetimes. And this has destroyed everything. And um, it's made life so difficult and hard and life will never be the same. And, you know, it's th these people what you find is, you know, they, they just choose to label everything that's happening as bad. And they're choosing a worldview and a reality that is, well, bad. Um, and then there's another group of people who, you know, they looked at the pandemic and they were looking for the positive things out of the pandemic. And they've said, you know, wow, you know, I, I get to work from home now, you know, or I have a more hybrid flexible schedule where I'm going into the office a couple of days and then I'm working from home the other couple of days. I have more time to spend with my family. I have more time to spend with my friends. Um, you know, a lot of people through the pandemic, I know like in the early stages with the lockdown, um, they got into, you know, a hobby or something that they've always been wanting to get into, but they didn't have the time. I've met a lot of people, you know, I play music. I'm sort of active in the, the Los Angeles music scene. And um, a lot of people that I've met recently in the scene, you know, that they've been telling me, you know, I've only been playing guitar or whatever for a year now. I picked up the guitar when uh, during the lockdown. It's something I always wanted to do, and I finally had the time to do it. So I think it was such a blessing, you know, the lockdown was kind of a blessing in disguise. And, um, and I feel the same way too, you know, it, the pandemic and, and the lockdown was, um, this sort of, uh, break in our, in our normal lives and our routines. And it forced us to sort of reevaluate, um, our lives, you know, reassess our lives, um, and kind of start from scratch again. And, um, so it, it's, I just find it interesting, you know, you, you, you have the same event, which is there's a global pandemic, but then we're all passing through the same event, but everyone has their own, um, meaning that they put or label that event with, you know, and that is manifestation in a nutshell. You are choosing your reality when you label something or when you add meaning, meaning to something. And you can just as easily add a good meaning to something as you can a bad meaning to something. And, um, you know, I, talk, I talked about this in a, a, you know, a previous video. I've also had another, what would be considered a tragedy um, in my social circle, my friend group. You know, we recently had um, a very good friend of, us, of ours you know, in our friend group, he, he passed away in his sleep at the age of 24 years old. And, um, you know, we don't really know what the cause of the, the demise was. And initially, when I heard the news, um, you know, I, I, the first thing I wanted to label it as was a tragedy and something that was bad. Um, but through the course of you know you know i although that was my initial sort of um reaction is like oh my gosh this is something tragic 
I became conscious of the reality I was creating and, and I said, you know what, no, this is not something that's tragic. This is something that is happening for a bigger reason. This is part of the divine plan of awakening. Um, and that's exactly what I've been seeing from this, from my friend's demise, is that everyone in our circle, su cir social circle, everyone in our community, they've been, their hearts have been opened. And everyone around me, everyone who, who knew this friend, I, I can say that we have been living life more deeply, more richly. We've been so, we're so grateful for each other's company. We're so grateful for each other's friendship. Um, and we've really all been taking on this sort of carpe diem sort of view of life, you know, and um, where it was difficult to express our gratitude for each other before, you know, especially for, you know, we're like guys, a lot of us. Um, now it's so easy to express our love for each other, you know, to give each other hugs, to, to just express how much we love each other. Um, it just feels natural now after our friend's demise um, because we don't know how much, how you know, apparently you can just pass away in your sleep. You know, it, it's that 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 experience has made us more grateful for life <clears throat> and if there's one thing i would say now it's that everyone who knew this person we were touched by his <clears throat> um his his beauty his his generosity his kindness um but the general feeling that i have every every day when i wake up now is just like man i just want to live I just want to feel alive. I just want to express my life. I just want to, I just want to live, you know, that's it. I just want to be alive um, because it feels so good. Um, and I'm so grateful for life. I'm so grateful for the little things. So there's a, an example of, you know, what was, con what could have been considered a tragic event um, and just reshaping it in, in our minds and saying, you know, this, this is part of the bigger divine plan, you know, and that's exactly what I've seen. Um, and, and and just seeing how everyone around me has awakened uh, through through the passing of of our of our dear friend. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I um I also released a video recently talking about how I had a a, a performance, an open mic performance. And long story short, I completely botched the performance. It was probably one of the worst live performances I've ever done. And in that video, I talked about how I came home and I was kind of feeling down about myself and um, had sort of this negative self-talk going on in my head. But the thing was, I had another performance coming up the next day. And I knew that if I fell asleep in a negative state, then... I would most likely manifest that, uh, you know, a, a botched performance again. So I didn't allow myself to go to bed until I I assigned a meaning to that botched performance. Why did it happen? You know, there was a greater reason for why this performance happened. It happened for a reason. It happened for a greater reason. It's part of my divine plan. And... Ultimately, the, the, the meaning that I assigned to it was it happened because it was an awakening that when I get up on stage, I'm no matter what, I'm going to give my full heart and soul. I'm not going to half-ass anything. I'm going to lay everything that I have at that moment on the table and um, be free on stage, you know, and, and, and I'm going to use my performance to awaken others and and do good for others you know there's a bigger reason bef behind why i perform it's not just about me and my ego and you know assigning that new meaning to that event made me feel empowered made me feel good when i f so i fell asleep in that state and then the day after at our performance you know i have friends and family there watching i just feel so good so confident so free that I laid everything out that I had on the table, played with my heart, soul, 
complete emotion and the response from the crowd was um <clears throat> was just magnificent you know it was just more than what i could have asked for you know just receiving the feedback from from all my friends and family that they thought the show was incredible and they, that they had such a good time they, they enjoyed themselves so much um so again you know the, the a big part of manifestation i know we talk about you know visualizing and things like that but i think something that is more practical that you can practice on um on a on a daily basis as you're passing through events in your life through your life is to really be mindful and conscious about how you label and interpret the events that happen you know and when something initially seems like it is um a tragic event or it's a bad event and there's no good that you can find from that event take a pause and ask yourself you know is this a part of my divine plan why is it a part of my divine plan and what lesson can i learn from this and how can i use that event or experience as fuel to um to awaken to live life more fully to grow as a person or a human being um, i think that is one of the most powerful spiritual practices that you can implement into your life. So that is it. Just wanted to leave you guys with that message, with that video, just something to meditate upon and implement more consciously in your life so that you can start manifesting a really good state of being um, and not be so reactive to your external world. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, subscribe. I'll be posting more videos regularly um, for you guys. And I uh, just want to say love you guys so much to the current subscri subscribers. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.